Good morning, everyone. I hope your day is going well. I decided to vlog a day in the life of a social worker. So I am about to get in the shower. If you can't already tell, don't worry. I'm not taking the camera any lower. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I'm going to try my best to film as much as possible. Good morning, so I just got to my office. As you all saw, get ready, say goodbye to the family. You didn't see me kiss my wife because <laughs> she did not want to be on camera at that time. So I'm in my office now and I can give you a quick tour. So this is my desk, nothing major. I need to get a picture of my son. But then to the right is my bookshelf with my books. I need to update this shelf with more books. I'm in the process of ordering books. So then this is where I have sessions. Typically I let clients choose. I'm always, <laughs> I always form interesting thoughts about the, the client who always sits here. But yeah, this is the space and I have this natural lighting with this practically floor to ceiling window, very large, but this is a large office, but the thought is that I would have groups in here as well. So it just really depends. A coffee maker that I don't really use, but yeah. It's so funny because I was just talking to a client about sleep and I did not see this, but uh, yeah, next time I see them, I'll ask them how it went and <laughs> redirect them over here. But I think these are some good things to have. Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? Yes, it is. Do, do you all like rotate like weekend shifts or? We've got specific people that. Okay. Are here every weekend. Okay. Are you one of those people? I am not. Okay. So okay. So yes, you. In your case, you are halfway through the week. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. So typically, as you all saw, when I first enter my office, I usually check my emails, check my voicemails to make sure no one called in the middle of the night. I have my email connected to my phone, but I always check just in case I didn't see something. I had a nine o'clock appointment. I have a 10 o'clock and an 11 o'clock as well as I think a three o'clock, but my 10 o'clock is not here. If you are a therapist or if you are a student, you know that no shows are a major concern in this field. Typically I meet with students and then I end 
10 minutes to the next hour and that gives me time to write my notes. So I like to stay on top of my notes. I know there's all the memes floating around, but generally speaking, I'm, I'm not behind on paperwork just because I build my time into the appointment to complete it. So if I have a no-show, typically I could do something there's always something to do uh, but I may use this time to to plan outreach events or I may use this time to geez I was going to say study but I don't have to study anymore because I am a clinical and in the state of Iowa an independent social worker so many things that they need to update, like my cards, they need to update my sign on my door. There's just so many things that needs to be updated. But I'm very happy to be in this predicament, to be in this position, to be directing a counseling center. Hey, so my 10 o'clock actually ended up showing and my 11 o'clock actually ended up needing to reschedule so so far two out of three not bad at all so usually i would go home for lunch but my wife is meeting a colleague and friend uh my colleague her friend for lunch and so she will i will not be meeting with her and dj for lunch today so usually i like to go in the lobby area sit just do work on my laptop and just be available for the students just so the students can see my face make small talk with the students but just to join them in their environment and to humanize me because I think sometimes they think clinicians are so above and it's like we're not we're humans we have appetites we like to eat just like you like to eat so this is like lunch time for the students right now it's like 11.52, so I'm going to head out and just kind of work on some stuff for about an hour, and then I'll come back to my office. I enjoyed my class today. Yes. I enjoyed my class. Now I'm trying to get the flow. Now I get to just flow and relax. There go mommy. Yes. So hey, as you can see, I'm driving. I'm going to look at the road so I don't die. But I am driving to Walmart because overnight. That's like one way in which we unwind. Hey, so I am at Walmart, as you can see. So I don't know what to say. <laughs> Cause like, so I've been like on this health journey and like as you all saw i am getting stuff for dinner like snacks and stuff like that and i don't know i've have mixed reviews and i mean this is what i could say because if you follow me on instagram then you know i said that like this is my second time doing a fast and like the first time i fast for two days and this time i think it's just going to be like I guess you can count it as like a 20 hour fast or something like that but <laughs> but um, I'm just not there so 
uh, someone waved at me. So I probably am gonna stop now. It's a, a small town and so like very spread. It's like, oh, I've seen the director vlogging. I don't know. It's, it's probably not anything I should be ashamed of. I'm probably making too much out of it. But okay so as you can see i am back to my car so i think i'm going to end the vlog here if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below with your <laughs> oh my gosh i can't talk okay let me know what your day is like whether you're a social worker educator student let me know in the comment section below what your day is like i'm going to end my day with um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna break my fast, eat, uh, watch TV with the wife, connect, and then go to bed and do it all over again tomorrow. There's so many things going on campus that I wish I could attend, but like there's a spoken word. I do poetry, fun fact. Can you imagine me doing poetry? <laughs> Hot mess. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and until I see you next time, be you, be great.